wildfire risk in this region has elevated. Yeah, it's true. So great news hearing that that fire you just mentioned, they're making some headway on it because we're not going to get a lot of help from the weather side of things when it comes to the wildfire fight. Uh, while we look outside right now, there is that suggestion there could be some rain moving in. These clouds are, are pretty weak on the precipitation front and we have those strong winds moving in west northwest right now, gusting up to 43 kilometers an hour. Cool out there at 13 degrees currently. Earlier that the wind are going to be picking up. Yes, for us here in Calgary, wind is going to be the big story for really the next couple of days. But if you're joining us in the Winifred area right now, which is just southwest of Medicine Hat, a severe thunderstorm warning has just come into effect that we'll walk through in just a moment. A look outside right now through our Capital Chef sky cam. Some clouds again suggesting that they're bringing some rain. We're not expecting too much on the precipitation front here in the city. Most of that's going to be concentrated in the southeast part of the province. Right now in Calgary, we're at 14 degrees. We have those northwesterly winds coming in at around 24 kilometers an hour. So it definitely brings a bite to the air, makes it feel cool out there. And really 14, that was our high today too. So definitely below seasonal for this time of year. That was the story throughout southern Alberta, 15 in Lethbridge and Medicine Hat, 17 up in Edmonton, 12 over in Lloydminster. And it's those communities that are really close to the Saskatchewan border there that are dealing with some storm activity right now. We have 15 in Lethbridge, 14 in Pincher Creek, and 10 in Banff this hour. As for central Alberta, if you're joining us in Red Deer, you're sitting at 16 degrees over in Coronation, 11, and 9 in Viking this hour. Looking ahead to tomorrow, it's going going to be a little bit warmer, 16 degrees here in Calgary, but we're still dealing with some northwesterly winds. And we talk about the northwest, that is the direction all this storm activity is tracking in. It's pretty much missing Calgary. We have the core of this upper low pressure system hovering over Saskatchewan, Manitoba right now. So we're at the tail end of this low pressure system, but it really intensifies that storm activity as we get along that Saskatchewan border. So again, Winifred right now is under a severe thunderstorm warning as we see the system track in. And when I add that lightning layer, you can really see how active this situation is right now. There is the potential for that warning area to deal with hail that gets up to nickel size and strong winds. So you're going to want to take cover. And even if you're outside of that warning area, Medicine Hat, a good idea to get indoors and out of uh, this potential hail activity. It's going to be a short-lived system, though. As we look at our rainfall for the next 24 hours, pretty much non-existent here in Calgary, a slight bump tomorrow afternoon if that Lethbridge it dies off this evening as well and we're already starting to see that intensity in the blue line there which is Medicine Hat start to calm down widely scattered right now you might get some nocturnal storms as well but everything calms down as we get into the weekend so here's another look at that low I was talking about there's the core of it there but we're going to advance this throughout the weekend getting us to Sunday this low still influences our jet stream. We get that zonal flow by the time we get to your Sunday. So that's going to be gusty winds, but warm winds. So it's going to be a nice sunny day, a Chinook set up for your Sunday and temperatures for once above seasonal for the next five days here. 16 for Friday, kind of a resetting day as we get into that first weekend of June, getting up to 19 on Saturday and then warm and windy for your Sunday at 20 degrees, Camilla. Gina, we're looking ahead to the weekend and it looks pretty good so far. Yes, uh, wildfire situation aside, it's going to be a beautiful warm weekend out there to kick off the first official weekend of June. So it's going to be a great time to get outdoors. But keep in mind, breezy conditions out there. We saw cooler temperatures today, really that were ushered in by those cool winds that started beginning yesterday. And we continue to see that low pressure set up really uh, churn today but this will start to track into the eastern prairies as we get into your Friday and Saturday, and that will allow us to warm up and get closer to seasonal. We're sitting around 15 degrees right now, so close to that normal of 19 for this time of year, but still slightly below it. Again, due to those strong northwesterly winds we were dealing with for the last 48 hours here. 13 in Pincher Creek right now, 14 in Milk River, 17 
right now in Brooks, but look how cool Medicine Hat was at just nine degrees. They had quite a rapid cool down due to a storm system that tracked through there. We're at 16 right now in Red Deer and 18 degrees in the provincial capital. So tomorrow's highs, we're going to get gradually warmer, aiming for 16 degrees here in the city, 18 over in Lethbridge, Medicine Hat and Brooks. So we're getting there. We're climbing, but this is that low pressure system and all the storms it brought along with it earlier this afternoon. So that brought Medicine's hat temperatures down quite drastically over the last hour here. That storm system is moving quite fast though. Here's a look at it from the upper atmosphere. Again, this is going to start moving more into the eastern prairies as we get into your weekend. It'll be warm here, but windy still. A little preview of what you're going to see 19 on Saturday up to 20 degrees on Sunday. I'll walk through this in more detail and how the upper air pattern is influencing our temperatures coming up. More of that sunshine work its way through the clouds there through our Capital Chev Skywatch camera and that sun actually helped us warm up uh, beyond our forecast high of 14 degrees. We're at 15 degrees right now in the city. So a really nice looking end to the day here after a, quite a cool gloomy start. So 15 currently and that is our high for today unless the sun can do a little more work here before sunset but not likely. It's windy out there still mostly out of that northwesterly direction up to 35 kilometer an hour gusts here and the closer you get to the U.S. border there some gusty winds as well transitioning more from a west southwest direction as we get into the overnight hours we're starting to see this low pressure system move its way out of Alberta and into the eastern prairies but it did produce quite a nasty little storm earlier this evening around Medicine Hat so there's all the lightning that was with it and I believe I set this up so we took the lightning off there and you can see those storm cells moving in and Winifred just southwest of Medicine Hat was briefly under a severe thunderstorm warning as these cells looked like they could produce nickel sized hail and very strong winds but things are getting pretty quiet now again as this low pressure system moves out don't expect too much on the storm front in Calgary tonight same in Lethbridge and Medicine Hat in the blue there uh, I don't know you might get a little bit more activity but it's looking pretty uh, insignificant for the most part so here's your upper air setup once again we saw this earlier in the hour but I'm going to advance this model now to Sunday. So we'll see the core of this low track more into the eastern prairies. And it does push down in such a way that it produces a zonal flow. What's nice is we're on the south side of the jet stream. So while it's going to be breezy by Sunday, it's going to be nice and warm as well. A Chinook setup, so that's going to get us above seasonal. As we look at your Capital Chef seven day trend, we really hover around that normal temperature mark. By the time we get into that first weekend of June, it's going to be dry, but it's going to be a nice weekend to get outside.